150 million kilometres away in that direction is the setting sun, a giant nuclear fusion reactor. You'd fit a million Earths inside it. Now the surface temperature is only around 6,000 degrees Celsius, but the sun's atmosphere, known as its corona, is at a million degrees. And that means it's in the form of what's known as a plasma, a soup of electrically charged particles. Now some of those particles are moving around so fast that they can escape and they stream away in what's known as the solar wind. They reach the Earth, travelling at a few hundred kilometres per second, and if we weren't protected, they would strip away our atmosphere. And when the sun dips below the horizon, there are times when that protective force field is revealed. Electrically charged particles have been driven away from the sun, ultimately from nuclear fusion reactions in the core of a star. They're crossing the solar system, hitting the Earth's magnetic field, stretching it out on the dark side of the planet. The field then sort of snaps back like an elastic band, accelerating all those charged particles up and down the field lines to the poles, which is here in the skies over Iceland. And they hit nitrogen and oxygen molecules in the atmosphere. And you're seeing quantum mechanics. They're exciting the molecules so that they emit light in characteristic colours. And if you think about it, this is the only time that we really see the Earth's magnetic field. That's one of the reasons why life on Earth has been able to persist for four billion years. In a sense, that's the reason that you exist. It's Earth's magnetic field that protects our atmosphere from the ravages of the solar wind. And that protective shield has its origins deep in the planet's interior. Thousands of kilometres down below my feet, actually below your feet now, is the Earth's outer core, which is a seething mass of molten iron. Now, convection currents cause the molten iron to rise, and then the Earth's rotation causes it to spiral around. Now, a spiralling, circling flow of an electrically conducting liquid is a dynamo. A dynamo generates a magnetic field. And the Earth's field rises up, not just to the surface here, but out into space, forming our protective shield. And that, what you see there, 